Again, no extra holes or damage to the front panel. It's dirty. Meter glasses appear to be unbroken and tight. Dymo labels are applied by the previous owner do come off with minimum residue. Hard to see here, but 1944 date. Okay, two connectors removed on the bottom, uh, leads run out to uh, terminal boards apparently. Choke added in the screen circuit, uh, previous owner was plate modulating it, so that's what that appears to be. Connector added. The opening, however, is appears on other TCSs. Same way over here. Nothing missing there. That's just the way they were made. Yeah, looks like the three uh, connectors shown are normal for TCM. Some variations. The tube sockets appear to be different than other TCMs, but original to this unit apparently. and some variations in the rotary inductor on one TCM to the next. See anything else that appears to be modified or? No. Yeah, I don't either. The side panel doesn't look too bad. It does have some dirt that appears to be surface. The side also appears to be pretty much intact except for some dirt stuff on the side again also appears to be surface okay TCK power supply one meter loose appears to be the right range and everything but uh, no screws holding it in place and the labeling strip underneath missing missing oh yeah one additional hole What's that switch? There's a, well, it's above the uh, tap, power tap switch. Okay, one small hole above the power tap switch. Is there a placed in service date on it there, Ryan? Or accepted. 1944. Okay, 44 acceptance date. Yep. One of the handles on the bottom bent. Numerous screws missing off the front panel. Side appears definitely intact but dirty and some scratches and chips. Yeah, tube compartment, two 836s probably for low voltage and a pair of 866 solid state replacements in place. All major components, components appear to be in place but a uh, fair amount of previous owner 
modifications and additions to the fusing circuits. Appears to be an attempt to fuse the high voltage circuit here. See, left side panel removed. Again, all major components appear to be in position. No obvious corrosion or water damage. Side panel. No holes or serious corrosion. Oh, some chips and scratches and dirt. Rear side of panel. No corrosion noted. I can't believe that he he has all that in those two cables, but maybe he does. Maybe those are multi-wire cables. Okay, one connector removed. Terminal board clued in behind it. Looks like the carried all of the voltage and says and control lines between the power supply and the transmitter. I think it's just voltages. Just voltages, okay. Yeah. Voltages, low voltage. Oh, low voltages yeah, to the so transmitter yeah, probably yeah, came out of that one. And, and let's like see, that. went to a Jones plug on the end. Six yeah. But could be an extra connector of some type added. Again, dirty, but no additional holes. No apparent major modifications except for the fusing mentioned earlier.